Hey guys, welcome back to Nextgen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a smooth sliding blur transition in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a smooth sliding blur transition in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported two demo videos in the editor. So this is my first demo video and this is my second demo video and I've overlapped my videos by one second in the timeline as you can see right here. Now the first thing which you need to do is you need to double click on your first video and then go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and now click on OK. Now look inside the push settings which is present inside the properties window. Type is set to door, so change this from door to side. Mode is set to right to left, so that's fine. Directly is set to false, so that's fine. Inside gradient length, currently the value is 50%. So change this from 50 to 0 and then press enter. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. All right. Now let's go back to the main editing timeline and now double click on your second video and once again go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and now click on OK. Now place the push transition right at the beginning like this and look inside the push settings which is present inside the properties window. Type is already set to side so that's fine. Mode is set to right to left. So change this from right to left to left to right. Inside directly currently false is selected. So change this from false to true. Inside gradient length the value is already set to 0%. So that's fine. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. So this is what is happening on screen. Perfect. Now next what you need to do is you need to once again double click on your first video and now what we are going to do is we are going to add a motion blur effect. So go to video effects, go to filters, select motion blur and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the motion blur effect is the entire duration of my first video which is 15 seconds 833 milliseconds. So I would like to reduce the duration of my motion blur effect to just one second. So inside the duration option, write 01.000 and then press enter. Now place the motion blur effect right at the end like this. Perfect. Now look inside the motion blur effect settings which is present inside the properties window. Motion type is set to linear motion so that's fine. Inside blur distances, currently the value is 10 pixel. So what you need to do is instead of 10 pixel, you need to write 0 semicolon 500 and then press enter. Perfect. Now let's go back to the main editing timeline and now double click on your second video and we will repeat the process. So go to video effects. Go to filters, select motion blur and now click on OK. Once again the duration of my motion blur is the entire duration of my second demo video which is 5 seconds 566 milliseconds. So I would like to reduce the duration to just one second. So inside the duration option write 01.000 and then press enter. Now look inside the motion blur effect settings of this second motion blur effect which we added. Motion type is already set to linear motion so that's fine. Inside blur distances currently the values are 0 semicolon 500. So what you need to do is instead of 0 semicolon 500 you need to write 500 semicolon 0 and then press enter. Perfect and that's it. And so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start. The combination of motion blur along with push transition 
creates a smooth sliding blur transition. Let me just quickly play this video for you once again. So this is how you can create a smooth sliding blur transition in VSCC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.